Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista from Hebert's Down Home. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you click that subscribe button down below. So today was supposed to be a grocery haul video, but <laughs> we, um, we were supposed to go to Aldi's and Sam's and Walmart and we had a snowstorm blow in. Well, sort of, it was supposed to blow in, but we've got lots of ice. And so we didn't want to travel because we have to travel about 30 miles away to get to our local Sam's and Aldi's. And so I just did another really quick Walmart haul and I completely intended to show it to you and I put it all away. We got really efficient, walked in the door, put all the groceries away, didn't film it. So I still would like to give you an update because that was my last shopping trip for the month of February. As many of you know, my plan was for February to try to really rein in the grocery budget. Um, I'll put a card up above kind of as I was making plans at the beginning of the month on how we were going to save a bunch of money on groceries. I just feel like our grocery budget had kind of gotten out of hand. We do have a big family um, and we do have lots of kids, older kids that eat, um, you know, adult portions or more. Um, but I just felt like it was time to kind of rein it in and see if we couldn't save some money in the area of our grocery budget. That's the one place that we can often cut back. And so we did. And so I wanted to give you kind of the final rundown and those final numbers and kind of some thoughts for next month of what I want to do. So we had an original budget of around $1,200 and that included, um, all of our groceries that also includes our household items it does not include clothing so that was the budget for um, pre in previous months and it kind of just kept creeping up and up and I thought well the kids are older whatever you know um, but what we decided to do was really price shop and be really careful about what we were purchasing buy a lot more of our groceries at Aldi's and um, we do follow the Trim Healthy Mama plan, and so we wanted to continue that, and healthy eating was important to us. So that was one place we weren't really willing to scrimp and save, is we still wanted healthy fruits and vegetables for the kids. We still wanted to eat um, basically low sugar or sugar-free in our household. Um, and so that does cost a little bit more money to eat healthy, and we're aware of that, and we're willing to pay that price. So, but we just wanted to see, the challenge was to see what we could do. So this month, um, after four, we broke it down and we did one week hauls instead of a monthly haul or a bi-weekly haul. This just allowed me to have um, a smaller amount of money to work with, be a lot more careful, really spend the time price shopping because I wasn't doing just this huge haul where I had to just rush through and be super organized and all of that. Um, it gave me more time to kind of really look at things, compare um, costs, and really look at labels and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, our previous budget was $1,200, and what it came down to this month, for the entire month of February, we spent $736.14. So I feel like we really accomplished our goal. The goal was $800. Um, that includes even a Trim Healthy Mama order in there. Um, and so for $736, we fed our family. I did not have fully stocked freezers or pantry when the month started. So in the past, I could save money by just kind of eating from what we had. And we, we did have some in there, but not a lot. So um, it wasn't like we were eating a lot from the pantry or the freezer. So um, we saved about $500. And um, I think that we can do the same next month. In fact, my budget for next month is gonna be $700. Um, and one thing that I think I am gonna change, because this month, a couple of times it happened that I could not get to all these. So that meant I had to do shopping at more of our local stores, mostly Walmart. Um, and I spent a lot more doing it that way. Um, than I could have because I could have saved a lot more money at Aldi's. So I think for next month, we're going to go back to bi-weekly hauls because I think I can get to my Aldi's and Sam's 
at least twice a month, but I can't really do it every week. It just doesn't work. Um, and once the weather gets nicer, it won't be the weather as an excuse, but I just get tired of going every single week and making that trip. It adds an hour to my grocery shopping time, and so that gets frustrating to me. So I'm gonna do that once every two weeks. So I'm gonna do two week hauls twice next month and see if I can still keep my budget low, um, keep it down under $700, including the Trim Healthy Mama stuff that we're gonna buy as well. So that's kind of the thoughts and the plans. Um, I will post some of those other videos. I'll, you know, some cards will come up or I'll post them at the end, or I, I may even put some of them in the comments below and link you to them. But I think we've got a system that's gonna work. Hopefully it will be sustainable. I know that there will be months where maybe we can't make that happen. And I think next month I'm also gonna look a little bit closer at how much are we actually spending on food and how much are we spending on household items? Because I think it's really important that you know where your money is going. And that has been the most helpful to us this time. We're trying to eat healthy, so it's not necessarily the cheapest food, but the healthiest food for the best value um, is kind of the goal here. So we will see how this goes over the next month and I will keep getting back with you and hopefully um, shooting those hauls and giving you those haul videos and kind of telling you where we're at with stuff and how we're doing on our goal. So that will give us about $350 every two weeks for both um, food and household items. That's the plan and we made our goal, yay. And, um, and we're gonna see what we can do again next month. So thank you for watching. Sorry there's no haul today, but the weather just totally threw me for a loop. We rushed out to get our groceries and it was cold and it was getting ready to snow and ice and everything else and we came home and put it all away and quickly made dinner and just had, you know, um, one of our normal crazy evenings. So anyway, sometimes the camera just gets forgotten in the process. So I wanna thank you for watching and um, thank you for coming along on the grocery haul journey this month and, and following along and for all your tips and advice and, and um, questions as we went along. I did have one viewer who also has eight people in her family and she said that they're doing their grocery budget for $400 a month. Now I'm not really clear. She did say she has younger children, seven and under. So um, that makes a huge difference. I think we're not feed, you know, not feeding as many adults. Um, my bigger kids eat a lot. Um, my one 14 year old boy in particular um, could eat all day and all night long. So um, just keeping them fed sometimes is interesting. Um, but, and I don't wanna get into the comparison game, but it does give me a good idea of what some other families are doing. Um, and I'm not for sure either if they're a Trim Healthy Mama family, and I know that you know some of the eating that we're doing does just cost more. So um, I don't wanna get too trapped in that. I wanna do our personal best. But I was glad to hear that from her because it is always good to hear where other families are coming from and get encouragement from them of keep going, you can do better. <laughs> And so that's the goal. Next month, let's do a little bit better. Maybe we'll have some money left over from our $700 budget um, for groceries. But going from $1,200 a month to $700 a month is a huge savings. And so I'm so thankful for that, that we were able to do that. And I feel like I've put in the legwork now. It won't be as hard next month, but it is something that we're gonna have to keep on top of, keep up with, and not just let it kind of slide. So anyway, that is the plan, that is the goal, save some money. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.